It's a god awful small affair to the girl with the mousy hair. This is Peter Rosenthal, head film critic for The Onion. Today, I'll be looking at Licorice Pizza, the latest lavish period piece from auteur director Paul Thomas Anderson, and a film whose vision is unfortunately marred by the unsettling decision to use a CGI recreation of actor Bradley Cooper after the star's untimely death in 2017. Telling the story of a young couple navigating their first love against the backdrop of a 1970s San Fernando Valley, Licorice Pizza is a gorgeous film, full of the same deft characterization and sumptuous cinematic flourishes we've come to expect from Anderson. Yet one can't help but be distracted by the frankly ghoulish choice of using digital trickery to bring Cooper back from the grave as hairdresser and producer John Peters. In past films, Anderson showed himself as a skillful director of actors, and this production is no different, with the director coaxing an impressive and scene-stealing performance out of newcomer Alana Haim, which makes it all the more frustrating that he felt the need to gild the lily by adding what amounts, essentially, to watching Cooper's digitally resurrected corpse. There's a deadness behind the virtual Cooper's eyes, a lack of true human emotion that will haunt viewers. Indeed, no matter how good such technology becomes, this robotic recreation of Cooper, composed of nothing but zeros and ones, still falls squarely into the uncanny valley. It's understandable that Anderson would be disappointed that he never had an opportunity to work with an actor of Cooper's caliber before the star's routine trip to Disneyland in March 2017 turned tragic and he drowned on Splash Mountain. But the fact remains that one of our generation's finest actors is gone. And for a contemporary filmmaker to reanimate him is an insult to his memory. Admittedly, the CGI used to animate Cooper is at times impressive. Extracted, we're told, from his turns in The Hangover and Silver Linings Playbook. Yet, moments like this, when we see through the technical wizardry, only further underline how unseemly the whole enterprise is. Who, in the Cooper estate, signed off on this travesty? And does the precedent set here mean we'll inevitably bring back other late stars like Sean Connery or Andrew Garfield? Simply put, no director. Not even one as great as P.T. Anderson should play God like this. Ultimately, the ghost of Bradley Cooper hangs over Licorice Pizza, tainting even those scenes in which he's not explicitly featured with the grisly memory of Splash Mountain's waterway repeatedly sucking up his bloated corpse and sending it back down the waterfall. It gives Licorice Pizza an unintentionally grim and queasy quality, one that frankly should make the entire cast and crew ashamed. The best I can say, and it is surely damning with faint praise, is that Anderson is more successful here than the catastrophic attempt to create a realistic CGI likeness of actor Bill Nighy in 2006's Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. For The Onion's film standard, I'm Peter Rosenthal.